Feels like it's being hit with a sledgehammer. Thank you very much. And oh, wait a second, wait a second. I'm starting to get my vision back now. Oh, no, oh, there you are in focus. Whoa, look at that hair, man. What are you talking about? We wake up in a strange place with our heads pounding, and all you got to talk about is my hair. Those are some finely cord flocks, my friend. Where you been hiding that magnificent mane? Up under that helmet? Stop worrying about my hair, which you obviously haven't seen in six months, and start trying to figure out what happened. Well, excuse me, Mr. Sassoon. I didn't know your lustrous hair was such a sensitive subject. Would you shut up? Now, what is the last thing you remember? Talking about your hair. Before we woke up, dummy. Well, I feel like we was riding on horses. And fast, too. Yeah, I, I remember the wind and the clippity-clop. Well, I do remember horses, but I think that was pulling us in the wagon. Oh, yep, yep, you're, you're right, you're right. And that horse, I was screeching something awful. Uh, you know, I don't think it was the horse screeching. It, it was, was dragons. dragons! That's right. We were on a mission to find a dragon egg for Astrid. We were finding it for Thor on you, dummy. And whatever he did with it after that was his business. And then you got the crazy idea to try to capture one of those baby dragons. Oh, right. And the last thing I saw was a blinding flash of light. You're jumping me, buddy. We'll make it back alive. But when you get back to the lodge, tell Astrid I did it for her. You idiot! And that's when I stopped a lot of you from crashing through my fully ripened crystal garden. Who the heck are you, mister, and how did we get here? Yeah! I am Myrmidor, hermit wizard of the western woods, and I have brought you to my home. A wizard? Are you sure? How come you ain't wearing a wizard hat and some robes? Yeah! Oh no, I don't go in for the pointy hats and cloak routine. But I have been known to swing a mighty magic stick when necessary. <laughs> yes. But I should not be needing it with you lads, eh? Not yet, I reckon. An urban wizard that's grown a distaste for the filth of the city. But my goodness, you must be exhausted. A dash of my energy elixir should fix you both right up. Yes, here we are. I had to use a large dose of magic to stop that furious dragon. But what kept her asleep for 30 minutes kept you lads asleep for three days. Whoa, Woo, three days? Whee. Yes. Now drink this. Sadly, the hatchling sustained injury during the resulting crash of your cart. Once the noble beast had awoke, I convinced her to let me turn her baby to health in return for not eating us all. Well, I think you're an all right feller, Mr. Myrmidor. Saving us and all, healing that youngin. I suppose trying to kidnap that baby from her mama was pretty rotten. We should apologize when she comes back. Oh, I don't suggest you be anywhere near this vicinity when she returns. You see, she was quite content to leave you be when you had the look of the dead about you. But were she to see you walking and talking, she may forget her part of the bargain. Uh, good point. I'd be obliged if you pass along our apologies. Indeed. Yes, lad, a question? You said earlier you'd grown crystals. What do you grow crystals for? Magic, mostly. Talismans, amulets, and they're very useful in the brewing of potions, tonics, elixirs. Potions? You mean like love potions? Truth serum? Oh, yes, a little bit of everything. Here, 
Let me rummage up a few items to show you. What are you doing? You tell me you're going to use a love potion on Astrid. I'm going to faint. Uh, I'm going to try a love potion on Astrid. Yes, there's a nice assortment. Now, this clear one here is a marvelous concoction. It's called fire. Very flammable. Keep flame away. This one over here Which is Which one a... is the love potion you was talking about? Oh, it's not exactly a love potion that might bend a girl's will against her wishes. <laughs> That's just wrong. Yep. Yeah. It simply removes the initial disdain based on appearance and lack of social class and allows you to use your natural charm to charm the girl naturally. Guess that counts you out, bonehead. Hey, I got charm. He ain't talking about your bracelet. Yes, we've all been given a measure of charm, I suppose. Some more than others. You see, the stuff doesn't work that well. And it ain't gonna work for him. I got wagon loads of charm. I think it'll work. To be honest, it's mostly essential oils, and it is nearing its expiration date. Let me show you. Yes, here we are. My, it's been some time since I've seen this bottle. It's the aroma that does the trick, they say, but I lack the necessary amount of charm, apparently. Oh, you seem plenty charming to me, Mr. Myrmidor. Don't ever give up, not even out here. Oh, thank you, lad. Now remember, small dash behind each ear and get close to the one you love. I must now go see to the arrival of our guests. My associate Habib is playing music for the baby dragon out back. You may visit him if you promise not to agitate. Are you still trying to get yourself killed by flirting around with Astrid? No amount of potion is going to make her pay attention to you. Well, we'll just see once she gets a sniff of this and a taste of the old Clem charm. <laughs> Wasn't she green when she had to that egg? Yes, yeah, she was, but they turn color after a couple days. They're always green when they're fresh hats. Wow, she sure seems to like that pretty music. Well, what was that other one's problem all freaking out when I was trying to sing to it? My crew left them swooning back in high school or, or forward. It's back for us, and what she was doing wasn't music. Lord Thoron, Lady Astrid, welcome to my humble hermit home. Your presence is welcome and overdue, my lord. Enough of your pleasantries, wizard. We've come to see dragons which your crows have brought word of. My lady holds great desire to see these beasts. Ah, oh, yes. I would love to see the beautiful creature, good sir. Yes, yes, of course. All of you, come down, come down, right out back. Even you, Grigoth and Bozart, come down. The mischievous heroes who kidnapped her are back there with her even now. We care not for heroes, only dragons. Yeah. Now, don't do anything stupid. Myrmidor said don't agitate him, and he looks like he's having a good time right now. Hold on a second. Let me set this potion down. Hey, dragon! Oh, crap. You got his attention now. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Let's go, Foghorn! Oh, crap! I forgot my potion! Too bad, so sad. I ain't stopping. Oh, my. What's all the commotion? Uh, 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 Lord Thoron, uh... Oh, Lady Astrid, uh, what, uh, the pleasure. Don't try anything funny, little critter. I'm just grabbing my perfume. Ah! What, what was that? that? Oh, man, 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 oh, What is 
meaning of this is to let such it in you both. And what is this foul liquid you have splashed upon my lady? Are you all right, my fair Astrid? Oh, la Lady Astrid, uh, I I'm so sorry. I, I was out back with uh, tending to that little baby dragon that I captured. Well, well, I guess it was Cletus and me that captured it, but it was my idea because I, I heard that you really liked it.